Okay, so let's take a look at how to graph an inequality um, for a given equation and also look at how we draw the graph uh, on a xy axis and all the properties that we need to look at. So in the first equation here, we have an inequality that says x plus y is less than or equal to 3. Okay, so our first step in this equation is that we should rewrite this equation so that it is in the form um, of the y equals mx plus b form, okay, because that is an easier way to graph an equation. So all we have to do here is subtract x on both sides so that we have the equation that shows y is less than or equal to negative x plus 3. All right, and then what we can do at this point is we can isolate um, the two things that we need in order to plot our graph quickly. Okay, we need to know the y-intercept, okay, which is given by the letter b, and that is equal to plus 3. And we also need to know the slope, which is given by the letter m. Okay, and remember that slope is rise over run, so that's the number in front of x, so it is going to be negative 1 over 1. Okay, with those two pieces of information, we can now plot our, our equation. So our y-intercept is going to be at 0, 3, 3 units up the y-axis. Our slope is going to be down 1 and over 1. Okay, so all we need to do is identify three dots on our graph, and then we can draw a uh, straight line through those points, okay, to the edge of our graph, and that is the, the boundary for that equation. Now, the reason we use this solid line is because the inequality here is less than or equal to, okay, so that means we're going to use a solid line. If it was not an equal to inequality, um, we would then just put in a dashed line. And then our next uh, thing that we need to know how to do here is uh, where do we shade the, um, the equation, okay? Because the line, there's multiple solutions for this question, okay? They just don't exist on the boundary line itself. So where do we, how do we know where to shade something? Okay, so the easiest thing to do is we can take a look at the inequality, okay? And the inequality here is a less than. So this means if it's less than, okay, we are going to shade the lower region. Okay, so just remember, less than meaning shade lower. Okay, so that means we're going to shade all values below the line. Okay, so remember, the line has got two sides to it. It's got an upper side and a lower side. So we can just indicate by just putting some marks in that we are shading the lower region. Now, if you want to test to see if that's true, okay, what you have to do is you have to pick a test point. Um, either in the shaded region or outside the shaded region, and you want to put that test point into your equation to see if that's a true statement. Okay, so I always like to pick a test point like the origin, okay, which is 0, 0. So I'm just going to write that down here. So we're going to pick two points, 0, 0, and we're going to plug them into the equation. So we're going to say y is equal to 0 is less than negative 0 plus 3. Okay, so this means 0 is less than or equal to 3. So is this true, okay, or is it false? Okay, because that's an expression, a math expression. 0 is less than, th than 3. True or false? So we know that's a true statement. 0 is less than 3, so that's true. Therefore, that test point inside the shaded area is the correct um, value. All right, if we picked a test point outside of the shaded area, say at like 5, comma 5, okay, I'm just going to pick that point for an example. And um, if we just go below here a little bit, we'll pick our test point, which is 5, comma 5. So that means y is 5 less than negative 5 plus 3. That's what x is. So I'm going to have 5 is less than negative 5. 2, negative 5 plus 3 is negative 2. So is that a true statement or is that a false statement? 
So 5 is less than negative 2. That is not true. That's false. Okay, which means that is points that are above the line, okay, do not work in this equation. Okay, so that means we have shaded the correct region, which would be just the lower point. Okay, so that's uh, a summary of how you would go through and um, plot an equation and to determine which side you're shading. So the, the shortcut is that you look at the inequality, and if it is less than, then you're going to shade lower. And if the reverse was true, if it was greater than, okay, then you would shade the upper region. All right, but the reason that it works is because we need to take a couple of test points to see whether the expression we're given is actually true or false in that given region. All right, so that's uh, a detailed explanation of how you graph an inequality and uh, determine where you shade the inequality and also what type of boundary line you use.